Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're playing as the Mojave Chapter, led by Elijah, an isolationist. What do you want? Why should I waste my time on an imbecile like you in a tragic benighted uh, era? Alone does the elder Elijah dare to thrive or strive. Graced by a birth with unparalleled technological genius, Lost Souls def defied convention to prefer Elijah, a scribe to the position of elder, an honor generally reserved for erstwhile paladins. The promotion would prove ill-starred, as Elijah demonstrated under further scrutiny a tendency towards intolerably heterodox conduct. Dissatisfied with merely procuring and safeguarding technology, the iconoclast Elder trod the path of the old world, reproducing and iterating upon the devices he procured. Hoping to dispose of Elijah, Lost Hill sent him an, and an undesirable contingent on an excursion to the Mojave. The last luminary wandered through the ashes of a bygone Anthropocene in search of illimitable uh, light and found a vindication in the discovery of the Helios One station, alleged to be the key and gate to a means by which spears could be pulled forth from the sun. Screamingly sentient, yet breeding dread delusion. The mad elder stands atop a spire of hubris, rising from a pit of obsession, and nurses dreams of a deathless daybreak. None yet know whether the elder's daybreak shall light the way to a bright new future, or reduce what remains to char charnel dust. Very interesting whoever writes these bios. I like them. They're actually very good. Very, very good. But, the serpent that would swallow the sun. I have better things to do than explain myself to an imbecile like you and journey to the Mojave. I would long become troublesome for long sales. I figured getting sent here was an effort to get rid of me. Still, my exile served only to enable my pursuits. The way sun's last great mind. A scribe of the Brother to Steel. Allows you to defy convention and rose to the rank of an elder. An honor usually reserved exclusively for paladins. An exception was granted for him on the grounds of him being a genius, able to figure out the workings of a device just by looking at it. His scientific acumen was matched only by his drive to recover and develop technology. His approach towards technology, iterating and improving, rather than simply preserving it, was considered unorthodox by his peers. Elijah often dispatched scribes on tech retrieval missions, chasing all the leads he found. His drive to develop new technologies put him at odds with the more conservative members of the Brotherhood, particularly other elders. Presper is nothing in comparison to me. The Brother is doomed without me. Only I can save the wasteland. We're going to be at war with the Mojave territory soon enough, so... Um, like children playing with bombs. At first I thought Helios won to be right for the taking. A veritable treasure trove of technology from before the war. A little slice of the old world all my own, yes. The harassing children cannot stir their roaming eyes. Of course, we have, we're a bunker, we have a bunker blues. Elijah's determination. Elder Elijah has a determination not seen in many chapters, even the main chapter. His determination is almost a like fanaticism, and he'll be damned if his mission in the Mojave ends in failure. Journey to the Mojave. A pathological control freak. We would have to view the people under him as mere equipment, expecting them to carry out his orders and requests unquestionably, while dissent or unpredictability on their part would not just annoy, but even outright infuriate him. By far the only person with whom he had any kind of working relationship was scribe Veronica Sant Santangelo, his pupil. This, the conflicts Elijah had with other members of the Brotherhood only worsened as Elijah pushed for developing new technologies and new ethically questionable weapons. The elders, rather than deal with them, decided to send him in a small accompanying Brotherhood force away out east. The message of the Hoover Dam and the possibility of bringing it back to functionality. Ultimately, I care for Veronica. She first listens to me, that's why I respect her. We're going to be very defensive. So if I remember correctly, that's been years since I've actually played this. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go to war, but the focus times determine what you get here. Overclock Hidden Valley Generators, 8 production of energy and 3 cities, or 3 and 1. Eventually, you actually get more if you go down these routes. For which derelict stockpile versus the stuff you get immediately. But it does take more time. So, Army XP, Power Arm Blueprints, we can ignore those two. We're probably going to go Optimize Helios 1 as well as the Refurbished Derelict Stockpile. But we'll probably do this one next just because we need units. Only one in every 10 suit of Power Armor have working pilot lights. Only one in every 20 of our microfusion cells are fully charged. Only one in 50 of our suits of Power Armor have fully functional servos. Again, inexcusable. How could this have happened? Of course, you can test the bear as fast as you really want to, but I don't want to. Children playing with bombs. When Elijah and his newly formed Mojave chapter arrived, they were too late. Just one year prior to the NCR, or the New California Republic, a republic of whom the Brotherhood has been fighting for over 100 years, has claimed it for themselves. Elijah was furious, likening it to children playing with a bomb. With a dam under occupation, Elijah could do little else besides set up operation at a secondary objective, a power station known as Helios 1. There he would plan for the fall of Oliver and a reclamation of the dam. I won't let anyone take what is owed to me. The Brotherhood would not be slighted. Um, so we got this, but as you can see, oh, we only have strip power, that's really bad. Um, we don't need this one. Anti-tank, absolutely we need. And common energy weaponry, well, we already have that, so. One, two, three. One, two, three. Refurbish. Oh, wow. 
Armor's 30, which is pretty generic. We need armor. Um, two, two, more. Oh! Here's the Mojave type of preparation by five. Well, microfusion style refurbishing. These aren't microfusion styles, just energy cells painted to look like the part. Is this a joke? Is Lost Cells trying to get us killed? So, really, we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, Old World Blues Generic Decisions Revamp, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, Old World Blues for the little gods, even though we don't need that. Uh, regardless, but Elijah's great speed. When Elijah sleeps, his dreams are filled with only the grandeur of discovery and breakthrough. He instructs his operatives carefully, imploring them to leave no stone unturned. His dreams, however, might lead the Mojave Brotherhood to their own undoing. His expeditions begin with the recent scout reports from Vault 3. We should conduct spy operations upon Vault 3, as it is likely that if or when we conquer the Vault, the fools that own it currently will have destroyed what we might have might find in their owner barbaric foolishness. And with the beginning scavenger program, where is it? Operations numbers. Before the Mojave expedition of the uh, of the NCR came to the Mojave, Mojave, the Brotherhood and the region were able to operate across the region with total freedom. This allowed them to salvage all kinds of technology from the Mojave and traders that traversed it, bringing it back to their base of operations in Helios 1. When the NCR moved in, our clashes were inevitable. The Brotherhood lacked the manpower to cement their control over anywhere except the Helios 1 and the adjacent Hidden Valley complex now. Political pressure is mounting on General Lee Oliver to launch one last campaign against the Brotherhood, wiping them out from the Mojave for good. The victory of the struggle will likely be decided based on preparation for the clash, rather than based on pure strength alone. The more prepared you are, the stronger your forces will fight, and the weaker your opponents will, uh, will be. <clears throat> Operation Sunburst. Untense, under intense pressure from his superiors back home, a conflict between the Mojave Expedition and the Mojave Brotherhood is inevitable. Soon, an assault on Helios 1 will be launched. So we gotta be ready. So, they will go to war with us within 49 days. We got a little bit of time. That's why we're gonna really maximize all this up here. Just gonna bear that lucky old sun. Tend to your business. I could make you care. Heavy duty ballistic barrels. One of my paladins came to me. Tell me the barrel of the minigun melted off after half a minute of sustained fire. Unbelievable. No time to get replacements. Need to rectify this myself. Not as much firepower. Need as much firepower as we can get. I'm going to get the army XP and. This too. Good. Operation Summers Preparations. Can't kick from faction. Look at all this. Oh my god. Attacking defense are bad. The organization's worse. Oh boy. We have our determination, but still. Walking artillery. Day and day, I am hounded by naysayers and defeat is going on about perceived tactical disadvantages. Irrelevant. Our paladins are equipped precisely to secure our precious hold up, uh, room to regroup. And serious logistical advantage will buy the many recourse that gets an immovable foe with superior ordinance. Let's hope so. Not quite resistors yet. Oopsie. We're getting there. So we need all the following. Achievable goal. Uh, yeah, that's fine. One of the following. Raw Poseidon Energy. Overclock Hidden Valley Generators. <clears throat> so you have to do this one. You have to go through all this. So after this, we'll do Walking Artillery. Optimizing Helios 1. But first, I do want to customize you guys. I need Army XP. Do we have any... What do we have here? Uh, political mastermind, more political power, I like that. Uh, let's go and do that one, anyways. Optimizing Helios 1. NCR took the dam first, leaving us at a disadvantage in energy production. No matter. A little more time fiddling, fiddling with Helios, and I ought to be able to awaken it just a little more. And it gives a little more preparation, too. Nice. Good stuff. So, actually, we need more water, huh? Can we trade for that with Twin Weather, maybe? Oh, we have no extra cities, okay. Well, that's why I'm trying to get some cities. Cities will be ours. Better be. Build. Well, when we can. Yeah, we've got a cop here too. Six, two. Realign solar panels. Old rule of stupidity got the engineers up beside him, just like all the others. Forgot to account for their slight alterations in the Earth's orbit after nuclear exchange. Idiots. Let me pick. Left me picking up the pieces. Lost his community key. <coughs> Excuse me. Lost Cell, as a formal head of the Brother of Steel, has just sent us our preliminary communique. We seem intent on wishing to restart efforts to reestablish communications with us. The elders are always up to something. Hey, that political power came in very much handy, though. Military theorist? Yes. Good. Resolving frustrations. They forgot a bracket. Oh. 
Okay, so preparations. Ah, that, so plus five gave us a little more organization, a more attack, defense, recovery rate, all the good stuff. Nice. I wonder how that would work out. Because it's been, like I said, years since I've done this. So really what the Mojave Territories want to do, they should probably go to war faster. So the faster the Mojave Territories go to war, the easier it will be for them. The sooner, the later it is, the better it is for us. Good to know. We need anti-tank still at more power armor, but what else is new? Organizational relations. Uh, we can't do anything there yet. Political power would be nice. Um, not the armaments. What do we have for economic advisors? No. Give this one. Good. Better recovery would be good. Image equipment would be also very good. Yeah, I like that too. What do we have for chief of army? Security expert. More defense and entrenchment is good. Attack and speed. We might switch them out, maybe. We'll see. I just got to make sure that we survive. We're opposite in energy. Helios will be the being heart of it all. The sun bleeding through its substations to give life to the Mojave. Very good. Except for that. More construction speed. Because I want to get more army XP. Oh, do this anyways. Um, good, 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 good. You know what? These guys have only three divisions of infantry, but they're not very good. They're only six combat, so they'll die very fast. We gotta make sure that these guys are good to go. You know what? Stack them up. We need way more power armor now. Ah, followers of the pop-ups, let them come. We'll take anybody that we need for now. And they'll help us with, with science points too. Cultural advisors, military stuff. Meh. That's nice, but I always like to go out and get go. Political power stability. Manpower's up there. We're going to keep one down here now. Doing that. Concentration of force is good. Do that as well. Kind of listen through this a little bit faster. We need a little more manpower, though. Gordon of Gekka's luck is in Vault City. Well, good for him. Yeah, this next. Looks needed. Awesome. Helps us out a little more. Lopan. Our opposite on energy. Yeah, this one will be the beating heart of it all. The sun bleeding through its substations to give life to the Mojave. Oh, we should have cities, right? Yeah. Good. You know what? We can trade away for one more scrap. I don't like the Legion. Since we're playing as a Brotherhood. But we need everything running on full cylinders right now, basically. Testing the bear. The NCR swarms like ants with old world relics. Started with the dam. Only a matter of time before the eyes wandered to Helios. Can't let them have this. Need to work a little harder. A scrape for an advantage. Um, I'd rather have more power armor than anything else. I think infantry is really bad right now. You know what? We're going to come over here first, maybe. Mm, we don't have to. Yeah, maybe we'll do this one first, because at least get them to be co 10 combat with. Because 6 combat with is just nothing. Do they have anti-tank? Oh, they do. That's really bad for us. That's really, really bad for us. Yeah. Not just a bear. Let's save anyways for now. Let's see. You. You're going to be Mr. Pain Train. Oh, you're already Pain Train. Good. Uh, you're level 3. Be inspirational. You, on the other hand, you're going to grab Life Giver. You're level 2, so next up is inspirational, probably. Let's save just in case. More political power. So then, what are we going to do next? I can make you care. Sway the star chasers. Veronica gets the attention of those so you can unrest. Sunset. Sarsaparilla. Bottle caps. Telling them that the reason the NCRs arrived in the regions to find the fabled treasure of Festus has promised to those who gather the caps. Work with the bright. Using super means. Basically, contacting everybody you can. That lucky old son. Distressed elder of the obsessed elder. Poseidon energy. Poseidon relic circuitry. Poseidon power. Vector Chico military encryption. Spirits from the sun. Managed to bring the full power of Helios 1 facility under his control. For the rest of the campaign, enables the use of the powerful combat ability Archime Fire Archimedes II. Attend your business. Bloody mess. Uh, damage. Impending launch of Operation Sunburst will be brought forward by 10 days. Searchlight strike force. Vangraft supply runs. Death and glory. Oh, that is war support. That's good. We'll get more attack. 
So this is being more effective, or more aggressive, I should say. I honestly kind of want this one. Lucky old son. I don't want to use outsiders for us. Even though this really helps with preparation a lot. Which might make it easier overall. Let's go with the center round, because we actually hurt ourselves with less intellectual support. Insolent idiotic. Every passing hour spent repairing Helios 1 is met with jeers and doubts. McNamara and Harden, I could have foreseen, but Veronica, that should even doubt me in this critical hour, inconceivable. Vantageous cynicism, no doubt. I'll have to ignore the temptations. Keep scraping the sun. <clears throat> How much longer do we have? Um, stability would be nice. Oh, we have, we have a couple days left, so. A couple, half a year. More stability. Keep training. Heavyweight. Does heavyweight affect power armor? I never knew. You beat me really happy. Agriculture, good. They stash themselves. Planes. That gives us more science points. Keep working on all this stuff here. Anything we can do here? Yes, please. Trials and tribulations. Actually, with the followers here. Another city. Our conflict with the Mojave territories is inevitable. Soon enough, political pressure from the NCR Congress will place overwhelming force on General Oliver to launch his assault on Helios 1. No way we can ever help to fan out their onslaught of suit preparation. A unique dynamic modifier representing the struggle for initiative between the Brotherhood and the NCR. When Operation Sunburst occurs, the current balance of preparation will be set in stone, so we must make sure to be well prepared for the war even ever comes. We must be prepared if not must be nothing if not prepared. Through power armor alone, we will win victory. That's only research bonuses, though. We need more men to counter the NCR's numbers. Where are we at with this? Oh, we're looking pretty bad. Fight fire with fire. We need more preparation. We need you to have staying power. Oh, they even have, they have she state too helping them. Ah, uh, but the, uh, it might just be us versus them, so we'll see. At least that's good to see. So help us out with getting more water since we are trading away our factories and I'd rather keep our factories here. As much as possible, of course. How long is this? 40 days, oh god. Uh, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Need all three, so I don't know if we can actually get down there fast enough, but beside a uh, circuitry. The treasure of Helios 1 is kept away uh, from me by the varying vein of the station's computers. I'll have to resort to digging through ruins to find replacements. Assigning power. Helios 1's key to a grand design, never realized. Helios 1 was taught to offer its blood to the sky with microwave radiation and pulling spears from the sun. Petrochico military encryption. Evidently, a small number of engineers from Petrochico were invited to participate in the development of Archimedes. The encryption technology looks to be their handiwork, ever shifting, competitive, like it has its mind of its own. Nice. Maximize the research, maximize the defenses, maximize everything pretty much. So that would all be very, very, very good. And we're going to also grab this. It's a lot of time, but that's okay. And here we are, everyone. Really in the war now. And we actually had a, quite a bit of preparation, which is pretty nice. We're doing okay so far. And it looks like they really can't pierce their power armor, which is why I'm glad I put it over on the left side here, too. Because infantry would get smashed really, really badly. And uh, casualties, 200-some versus 25. Not bad. Not bad. I'm glad we're holding out. Uh, if anything, we'll probably push out this direction. Um, so not a lot of tiles that we can really see here. Um, so we're going to continue to let them attack us. We're continuing doing our focuses. We're not going to do expand army training. Um, we're going to wait until they're pretty much out of manpower first, probably. And then kind of go from there. Because I'm sure we could always use more political power, more manpower. We can use more of everything, really. We're out of power armor, too. So, And we just did Spears from the Sun. I should have guessed. The morons of Poseidon were too stupid to calculate firing coordinates themselves, so they designed a handful handheld device. They elucidated Sea Finders so, to do the work for them. Unexplicably, there's no other way of doing this. The Sea Finder was last seen in the hands of a child, and surprising, since it was only obviously designed to be used by one. Elijah man's bringing the full power of the Helios 1 facility under his control. Great. Image equipment, civvy, armed workshop, emergency materials. Not enough materials for repairs, yes, the station itself. I'll deal with the consequences later. So that doesn't boost up anymore, but that's alright. We got enough that we need for now. 57 versus 587, 600-some. Nice. Let's take a look-see. Mojave Territories, you need to do better than this. They still have a few hundred manpower left, so let's let them damage themselves down the line. Helps that we are defending. Uh, helps that we got bonuses. Helps that we, you know, we are who we are. Let's pursue Maxon's honor. 
Roger Maxson stood against a tear of the old world in his dying moments. Now we honor his choice by doing the same. It's not bad. I can do that one flesh before steel. I usually like doing flesh before steel, but we'll see. A bit of a bonus there. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. And it is 2276. Thank you. That was quite nice. Oh, actually, it's a little bit ahead of time. I don't want to do that one. We have other technologies we can do too. Research speed, for example. So once we start pushing, I might start slowly siphoning one or two special forces divisions from the left side here to the right side. Just need to start pushing things up a little bit more. Good. Very nice. Uh, come down here. And slightly more put of fire. It's only 2%. It's not very much, but it's something, you know. Travel huts are fine. Good, good, good. 1400, 108. That's how we held out against the, the Legion 2 at some point as well. Um, let's see. Who do we have here? Economic Advisors, Destruction Speed, Brothered Scribe, More Support Stability, Emergency Materials, Deco Signals. Um, I want more Soft Attack on Attack. Hey! Blueprint's nice. You know what? Go ahead and do that one. It's fine. And Emergency Recruitment. Is there any end of them? Need to beat their numbers? The Scribes, yes. Yes, the Scribes. Are they done attacking? They have 14 guys left in the reserve. That must be like really scary. Like, oh my god, there's only 14 of us left. Might be able to push out here, maybe, maybe not. We have anti-tank, they have anti-tank. I'm surprised they're not going to force the attack either, so. Hello, hello, hello? Oh, oh, are they, oh, they move their divisions around too. Oh, it's because the NCR itself is moving divisions around. Nice. So now we spread, spread out a little bit more. Um, let them continue jacking us there. We need to make an encirclement, but it's really hard to see where everything is. But we have another division too. Fantastic. You, I've got what? I like. I just like more max planning. Hey, stocks, good. Pushing up here would be ideal. Yeah, I think I'm going to push north first. They do have special forces here, but still. Ooh. All right, yeah. Send two up here. Send one here too. See what you can do. That should definitely help us out. All right, so they're starting to lose. We're gonna stop attacking then. Oh, it's only one. Well, no wonder you're losing. Here, just hold for now. It's fine. Pushing out a little bit. We can either line a little bit. Making them still attacks over here is a good idea. Got marching fire done. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys go here. And they still have both special forces, but I'd rather not fight. Motorized. Alright, so they want to still attack. Fine. Fire can be the second. Exhaustion. Oh, this would help out. Cannot retreat while attacking. Yeah, basically forcing the attack. Life giver, survivalist. Yeah, recover faster. Alright, so we've lost what? 178. Oh, the divide is in the war too. That's good. Uh, research speed. Hang in there, guys. Yeah, they're still attacking. Good. Emergency production. Too many men, too few guns. Running out of armor. Need to work harder, faster. Very good. Nice. Um, so the, the war against the divides over, so they're gonna throw more divisions at us, probably, I assume. In the meantime, we're only making one at a time. We're out of power armor. Actually, we're doing pretty well on power, power armor, all things considered. Let's set up some money. Prospectors, help some settlements out, increase our political power. Do I dare risk it by sending another one over here? Yes, we do. See, now they're forcing the attack. That's what we like to see here. No, uh, no, 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 no. AI cheats so hard. It's not an overall blue thing. It's just a boy four thing. That's dumb. If you, if you force the attack, you should be penalized like us. There you go. 
Robert Nelson. Good job, guys. They have only two divisions here. This is the weakest part of, in the line. I need half of you to go here still. I want to go there. Let's see if we can hold it. Fire. Good. Take one for now. Go in here. Over dam. It's going to be ours. Nice. Oh, you went all the way up there, huh? Wow. Good. Don't let him stop. They're going to die at Hoover Dam. They wanted it so badly. And we're going to circle them up there, too. Which would be nice. Uh, still not attacking over there. Interesting. Emergency ammunition? Running out of ammo? Must be auxiliary somewhere. There you go. Oh, hello. When did they come up here? Did they defeat us or something? Oh. Well, whatever. So destroyed a division. Just great. Now they're just... Oh, we got them! We took out OK Hoover Dam and that's all you need. I thought it would be much more uh, radical than that. But, up. Victory in Operation Sunburst. Fantastic. Today is a glorious day uh, for the Brother to Steal. Uh, El Elder Elijah revealing his tactical prowess in a stunning defense of the Mojave chapter against the tyrannical New California Republic. We managed to push Republic soldiers to the Mojave outpost, although the question remains on whether we should continue the advance down the Long 15 into California. If we tried to assert a more uh, <clears throat> uh, dominance over this land, so likely we would have to face a more coordinated response in turn. This is our land. Uh, let's not push too far. Wait, what? Oh, they get a war go against us. We can fight them now? That would be absolutely insane. Yeah. And we gotta put down a lot of resistance too now. Unfortunate. Got more factories though, which is nice. I'm gonna say, just in case, just hang out here. Because there might be a lot of resistance and whatnot, and I don't wanna deal with that stuff. Boop, 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 boop. And now, because of that, you, Paladin Patrol, can come over here too. Oh, well. There's only 100 infantry equipment. We didn't need that. We're trying for the trouble. It's over. You know, this one has gone quiet. What remains? An empty tower. The sun's so close you can touch it. And a new world on the horizon. Hey, we lose Obsessed Elder. Great. Fantastic. This compliance is going to suck, which is why I also went with Circle of Steel so we can put down resistance. Because it's way too freaking high. Culture Advisor. Well, we're going to get these guys anyways. Research speed, then. I'll head to town, but I don't care. Bob joins NCR. Well, they lost one, and they got another, so. Do we get Corazon's territory eventually? The Throne of the Troubled. Population changes by 10,000. Holy cow. Helio Citadel, the smother of the sea. Moves capital to Hoover Dam. Ooh. Additional turbines of the Hoover Dam is brought online, increasing power output. Citadel of the Craven. Hidden Valley. Massively fortified the state. The smother of the sea. You know what? This seems extremely risky. I want to try it. With the last few thorns dealt with, I finally have time to get to work centralizing things in the Mojave. Best start by finding a place to set up shop for good. The last sales demanded that I fetch them. Hoover Dam. No use squandering my efforts elsewhere with all the distractions eliminated. Besides, I could get some work done on the turbines if I set up shop right here. We're going to risk it. Let's get for that fat biscuit. And she's a fat biscuit. Anyways. We get the least benefit. And we get energy, which is nice. But, I mean, 10,000 more would be nice to have. Ah, cool down, yeah. That makes sense. Integrating the Mojave. Oh, good. The Mojave was easy enough to conquer. Securing is another matter entirely. NCR will return, I'm sure of it. Roaming eyes and gasp grasping hands willing to be kept at bay. Awesome. Fantastic. Going optimize training. We'll do that one too. Um, stability's good too. It's time to build ourselves up. What is this? Repair the western boat left at Hoover Dam. While the boat Hoover Dam was for many years after its construction, an impossible barrier across the Colorado River, shortly after the Great War, the Americans embarked on an ambitious engineering project to tackle this. Under the direction of the U.S. Corps of Engineers, civilian contractors constructed two boat lifts, glorified docks, or locks, one on either side of the dam, while theoretically designed to improve trade up and down the river. The locks never opened to civilian traffic before the Great War began. They are, however, far from broken. A few months of work could restore them to functioning. Need more caps and more manpower. What's next? What do you, what do you think? 
Good. Uh, there we go. As much benefit as humanly possible. Uh, compliance growth speed, sure. Manpower. Hey, look at that. We're gonna actually stop making you. We're gonna put you on low for now. We don't really need you. Oh, poor Scrimmage at the dam. Oh, hello? Seems that after recent victory at Helios, our paladins may have gone a bit overzealous. As Elijah made their way to the dam, of which the NCR denied them access to so foolishly, they learned that there was a skirmish between their, uh, between the Brotherhood and the Eastern Slave Holder known as Kaiser's Legion. Our paladins seem to have no experience fighting such strange foes. Their military strategy of mixing elements of tribal, wastelander, and ancient tactics in terrifying fashion. Seems we have some training needed to do if we're standing up to such a threat. So, uh, we can improve our tactics against the Legion uh, through training. Done from a decision locked by the focus, preparing against the Legion. Oh god. Oh, that's terrible. That's really bad. Mm. Yeah, we'll do this one first, maybe. Well, that sucks. Urban planning, nice. That's good, at least. Uh, continue on with that, good. You guys are going to need chem on your infantry. Good. Hit and run, nice. Expand, ooh, yes, expand the eight, 118, one, 188. Veronica made a habit of loitering at the 188, gossiping, eavesdropping. Could make it use of it for more eyes, secure a bit more of presence. Good. There you go. And, uh, manpower, please, thank you. Thank God the devs gave us that, too. Uh, control on Nipton through fear. It's not bad. Not bad. I can make you care to the great beyond. Oh, that lucky old son. False promise. So we get to do this one too. So, control and Nipton through fear. Joseph Stain, the mayor of Nipton, came to the grovel the second the last answer boot left Mojave dust. A card, stupid to boot, useful. Okay. Consumer goods, not, not, not bad. So, oh, it's alright. Opera power for compliance. Helios bleeds sur surplus and Mojave craves. Could parcel out energy by productivity, kill two birds with one stone, keep them compliant, and saves me some labor. Oh, that's pretty good. For 500 days, that's pretty nice, actually. Oopsie. Look at that political power. I want more. Let's go to war with New Vegas now. Hmm. <laughs> training appointments. Don't need to rethink it. Plus, Legion muster. The cosplayers of the East are preparing to storm the dam. We've been caught flat footed and already bloody from war against NCR, but let them find out why we are the masters of Mariposa. Uh. I guess from here on out, they're going to do several skirmishes, maybe? Let's hold the dam to the last. Especially since it's their capital. Oh! Already? Oh, give me a second here. Hold on. Uh, if you need to get down there, you need to get down there now. So, are we locked into a war with them from here on out now? These two divisions is good enough. Now, we have to remember. Uh, they're going to enable invade us too, so that's something we've got to be very careful about as well. So, I just want to do that. 50, Maxence Honor. I want more starting level, skill level of starting commanders, academy officers. Smart should lead. Planning. Officers are put through tasks, so smart should lead. Mm. Cost. Now yeah, I'll do this one. Skilled. Hey, it's not a bunker kit. That's good. No level two, so be inspirational. And you need to be trained.
So oh, this is not good. <sighs> Repair the question boat lift. Um, we can go ahead. They're gonna attack us like crazy. Hopefully, we can hold out. I mean, I've done this before, so it sh I, I kind of know what to expect. But still, can you hurry up? Get your butts over there now, because they're just gonna attack us and attack us and attack us, and we need to core this place fast. Hey, thanks, Lost Hills, for showing up. Did not think I'd be at war with the Legion this fast. Hey, that's good. Expand. Expand. Um, at least for us. At least we have more levels that we're going to need to go up to, which is good to have. Military High Command. It's not bad. Recovery rate. We're probably going to need to recover faster, but speed's nice. It's only 10%. We can get that bonus anyways for most of our divisions. Speed, reconnaissance, and decryption. Uh, we can move a little faster. It's not much. Reconnaissance. Do we have any recon on our guys already? No. Do we get recon on our on our guys here anyways? Maybe special forces. We go with principal, of course. We get more recon. I don't think we get any recon on these guys. Yeah, so throwing on recon would be not very good. It'd be okay for the infantry. We'll go with the recovery rate. We get recover very fast. Just waiting for them to naval invade us. Imagine we take out the uh, the Legion um, at the same time the NCR goes to war with them too. Of course they have no reason to go to war. Not as much reason to go to war. Oh, that's not good. Part standardization. Hey, Lost Hills made it to the right place. Good, 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 good. Losses. 57 versus 1,000. That's good. Uh, of course the Legion has just gobs of manpower. Uh, bargaining chip. Well, we'll see what happens. We have enough of everything, pretty much, for the most part. Lots of supply package? Oh, thanks! T-51B power armor and advanced energy weaponry? That'll come in very handy against these guys. Uh, repair the next turbine? Sure. Mojave conflict? Oh, we're done with that. Well, not really. I feel for a truce. There aren't many of us. Each one who goes down, smashed by a power fist or a machete, uh, shot with a crude half-rifles, is one irreplaceable life. Yeah, we stand all the same. The Eastern Wave will break against a rock just as so many of against the Hoover Dam. I'm glad we built up Hoover Dam, too. Uh, culture Advisors, Stability War Support, eh, Surveyor, Construction Speed, Chief of the Army, Veteran Paladin, Attack and Speed. Uh, honestly, we don't need this one. This one would probably be better. Mm, I guess, for now. So it seems like we're holding out, but you always have to see, look at that. See, I knew that they would do something like this. Which is going to piss me off a whole bunch. I need you all to be fast as lightning. Because stuff like that really makes me angry. Naval invasion crap. Keep him in place. Keep him in place. For the love of God, keep him in place. Come on. Come on. We gotta do better than this. Uh, do that one. Because they'll just start naval being like crazy and I hate it so much. You need this. Good. Should be able to kill them off that way. Uh, huh. Come on, still ahead of time. Sure, why not? You should be able to win here. Don't. Do not let them move. Honestly, if I have to do some funky cons commands things or something, I'm probably not even cons commands. It's just stupid the way things get set up like this. Mm, I don't want to remove these guys. I can remove one more from you here, probably. I need you to win here. I need you to be a winner. No. You have to keep him here. Where's that other division we sent up? Hello? Why are you taking so long? Come on. Hey, we've got cords though. That's good. Oof. Up here first, then. Yeah, this is a giant freaking mess. Can you kill this division off? Oh my god, you are taking way too freaking long. I mean, we'll get them eventually, but this is just a giant mess. So I'm going to deal with this off screen because this is annoying as hell. 
and stupid, but belated breach of the turbulent tower. At long last, no distractions, no preoccupations. I can start on the important work now. Offer power for compliance, great. And then we'll do the Serpent's Hunger. Oh, another research slot. With all lost souls breathing down my neck, the important work can finally begin. My brothers back home can rot in their stagnancy for all I care. I'm going to cobble together whatever I can out of the detritus the Mojave has left me. All right, everyone, so we've cleaned it up. We've actually made a few more divisions, too, and uh, made sure that when they do navally invade, we have our divisions on docks or harbors and, you know, naval bases and whatnot, so that when they do invade, uh, they don't get any supplies. For example, up here in the north, they're invading up here, and I've put, you know, uh, divisions on VPs, victory points, so then when this stuff happens, that's not good. You know, of course, the defense... And we've got spare guys to move around. So, for example, over here, uh, you know, I'd actually use you instead. Come up here, because I could use some help. They're still attacking like crazy. They have up to 200 divisions. We've killed off 15,000 of them, not even taking 1,000 casualties. And we've also already cored Vault 3 as well, so that's good too. It's a lot of time. Come back over here, civilized tech. Manpower is okay for now. Uh, standard infantry is okay. What if we went down this way too? Trade deal. Slightly more political power. We're going to need that to core a lot of Legion lands. Make sure these guys do not die. That would be very bad for us. Um, Murphy's Law. Oh. Though Rangers swooped into the boneyard and the Republic's repressed few vertebrates, the people of the city resisted the attempt to seize their governor. Murphy's no longer a threat to the Republic, but now the city is fully under the sway of the followers and faithful of Dharma, and they vow not to rest until the Republic is free. Perhaps democracy is negotiable after all. Oh. Preparing against the Legion, which we already did. Stupid, stupid all of them. The morons lost Hell's game and can't keep up with the Legion. They'll break their divisions, but the Legion regroups before any real damage is done. Two millennia of tactical and technological development on them, and nothing comes of it. We need to make it work. I've come too far for the West and do me in, so I'll begin to train our army in the art of fighting against the Legion in preparation against the future attack on them. Too late, so we'll do that. Uh, it's extremely important. When it comes to fighting the Legion, if we're not prepared against them, they're likely to overwhelm us completely. As advised, we begin training against the Legion as soon as possible, and we're doing rough con development to start working on air superiority. Rocketry is a lost art. Can't impart, import fewer metal. Smothers any work in his crib because of the scarcity still. I'm lucky to have happened on the Repcon. With the knowledge of treasure left here, there's a bit of careful stockpiling. We get to dredge something up. Also, we technically aren't on a time limit, but we really are, because NCR is going to come attack us eventually, I think. I'm sure they will. So we want to win against the Legion relatively quickly. Um, weekly manpower would be nice. We don't need it immediately, but something to think about for the future. Uh, more attack would be good. Working walk with the Cyphers. Power armor would be good, especially T45D power armor, which is better than what we have. But we don't need that immediately. So you prim slim. We could do that. Jewel Mojave could. Wrangling the brain cases. Without the obstructions to lost cells breathing down my neck, I've gotten the opportunity to start getting something of value done. Get these idiot savant brain cases they gave me working on mass producing some of what I cobbled together from what we dug up. Cracking open the robots. Plenty of old robots shamble about the Mojave, pathetically aimless. They got little use of wastrel prospectors over than, other than scrap metal, but they could be a more substantial use to someone of my talent. I can start cracking what's left open and see what I can figure out about how to iterate on their designs, our armor blueprints. When we left for the Mojave, we were given little in the way of equipment, mostly surplus or outdated models. Doubt even Lost Sales could have predicted that the NCR would arrive here before we did. I ought to make some modifications while there's still time, see if I can make anything worthwhile out of the stock we brought over, and simulation training. I detest virtual reality, sits you in a chair, thrusts you in a predictable world, no risk, no variability, dulls the brain. Still, with a surplus of unreliable initiates after all, a deficit of time, no other options, it's an expedience. Uh, and I guess we'll do more who clutches at the old crowns. Harden's come to me with some nonsense about old world devils walking the wasteland, crying out for vengeance. Implausible, but inauspicious. An inconvenience waiting to happen. Should go on the hunt, seek the last gasp of the old world kingmakers. We begin supplying a small group of paladins to begin searching Mount Charleston in the hopes of finding the bunker of Devil's Brigade in Navarro Remnant's cell. This operation will be particularly expensive, needing us to supply them with ammo and munitions for the duration of the mission. Walk with the Cyphers. Far beyond the Mojave, there are other little tidbits that have caught my interest. The Cyphers, for instance. A tribe of the West clinging to the tombs and schema of the Old World. Documents scarcely understood by the keepers, but treasured. An expedition could be of some value. Give us both something to think about. T-45D production. T-45D was the first model of power armor produced by America, and it shows. A simple frame, lackluster servos, exposed weak points, and a less than impressive helmet design. So any power armor is better than none, and its simplicity makes it faster to fix and produce. Jewel the Mojave. River Dam Helios, a good start, yes, but there's other treasures buried under the Mojave dust. The City of Lights, towers, the deathless despot of the old world is quested within. Our time has come. It's over now. What's left behind? Well, we can't do that one, but... House's last monument lies empty now, right for the plundering. With enough time to shift through the trash, we could dredge up something of use. Work it with Benny. One of uh, House's oligarchs was quick to grovel for any new management. Benny, I think, was nameless, resourceful, useful. He's gotten lucky. His groveling bought him his life. Which would be nice, eventually, once we get him. Before to find the dam. The dams are bulwark, defensible. A shining meat grinder for the Legion to leap into. With some preparation, it could swallow them whole. 
reserve power in Archimedes. Legion is pragmatic, throwing bodies at the problem until it disappears. Maybe prudent to reserve power from Helios to keep Archimedes fed, keep Helios' blood, then let it go drown them all. T-51B Production The pinnacle pre-war power armor design, the T-51B model, is a favorite among the Brotherhood of Steel for its robust design. Shaped cer ceramic armor, lack of clear weak points, and expertly crafted helmets and filters. Although harder to maintain and produce, there's no doubt that the T-51B is superior to, to the T-45D in every way. Rescue Legion Slaves Slavery is a system that works, gets results, even for your average wasteland adult. No wonder the Legion is so reliant on it. Inefficient with them, though. The Legion will be entirely helpless without them. Ing ingratiates me to the slaves, too. They'll help us more than they ever did them. Get two birds with one stone. Smelt down Legion currency. Incompetent, inexcusable, the Legion's been sitting on gold, conductive, pleading to course with life, and minting it for coin such a waste has put it to better use. Rewarding veterans of the Legion campaign. Medals, accommodations, accolades, wasteful monuments to sentimentality. But convenient. Gets people complacent. Don't waste my time long. Doesn't waste my time. A pallid soldiers of Helios. Though through fire and war my pallets are firm against the Legion, stories have started to circulate among the wasteland. If it can be useful to me, if it can foster admiration, why not feed the spread? So, and study Prim Slim. Of all places, I've found something useful in Prim. A robot called Prim Slim. A custodian for a tomb of two old world criminals. Robots with intact personalities have always held something to pick out of their databanks. If we let them let the ghost ramble, we might get a useful tidbit out of it. So we're going to end it there. I'm going to continue grinding against these guys. It's going to be fine. They have up to 86 divisions, and then they'll be dead. So that'll be fine with me. Uh, regardless, we did really well so far in the first episode here. Poor damage, and poor damage. You know this one. If you enjoyed the video, though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we'll hopefully beat up the Legion and get ready for um, New Vegas and the NCR. And the last little thing here, training against Legion Tactics. Legion fights unlike any other group. The brother has faced in recent years, fanatical, insane, ruthless. They're closer to beasts than man. We need to resolve our spirit and train our paladins in the art of fighting such monsters. Great. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we continue on, thanks for watching, and have a great, 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 great rest of your day.